Okay, this is a video about making a uh, uh, addition to this menu. You know, you, if you see there's this add-ins add menu that gets created, let's show you how really straightforward that, that thing can be. You, what you do is you go to the uh, developer here and go to macros, and this time go to the auto open macro. Okay, and um, if you you see that there there are a few things that makes, you can make a thing called a command pop up. Okay, and what we're going to do is in an, in another video I showed you how to make this interpolate function, this lookup in in, in function, lookup interpolate function. I would like a list of these functions, so I'd like an add-in that just says list of functions. That's what we're going to make. Okay. Uh, what? You, let's just go through one by one. Uh, maybe, maybe this time we'll go backwards. We'll go backwards, like uh, we have. So the first one is we uh, eventually down here somewhere we're going to have a, func uh, 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 a, a, a function, a subroutine that says sub x. I put it x, so they're they're all going to be lower in the, the list. And we'll put um, a list functions, and we'll put something in that list functions. Now we'll do it more carefully. I'll just put it right now: msgbox, and we'll put uh, function for interpolating. Perhaps then we can uh, put a chr13, which skips a line in this message box, and then another one, and then we can put uh, <sighs> sorry about this function. Without NA. We can go to the end, keep them consistent, and put another change. Okay. And I forgot to put the, no the name of the function. Perhaps we'll put some kind of dots in here and then put uh, this one, which is called interpolate. one was called uh, okay With the underscore and that's what I called the next one okay and you can keep going on and on and on uh, oops okay of course I didn't close it I'm gonna make one more function for playing formula says that. Okay. And uh, I called this one something like short formula. Okay. And then for now we'll just uh, close this. This will be the end of uh, a simple little macro. So that, that's what our, our little macro does that lists functions. And let's go to the end. So the first thing we do is we call a make button that we can, we can call that list functions. Okay, and then we can name this. This is going to be the name that appears when you uh, type and you hit the add-in. List user functions and generic. Because you could create you could of course create your own. Okay, so that's the next thing. And then what you do is after you put the list, 
you have to put the macro that it, it calls. So we, we, we just call that list functions. Okay, so that's not so hard, is it? So that's that's our list functions now. These, uh, uh, so that's what the rest of these things do. Okay. The um, if you would want to make make more, um, you would just copy this down, and you could have multiple uh, multiple little sub menus. And then you go up here, and it says set the. We're going to set the uh, list functions and this is going to be the main menu that, so it's called from the menu bar I hope I didn't and we'll put we'll put a caption and call that list functions Okay, uh, and then we have to do one more thing, I think, and then all we have to do up here is create another one called list functions. And I hope I uh, did. I I have to be a little careful. Oh, it capitalized it for us. That was very nice of that. Uh, to do that, so we, so we have this. Now, let's um, try it. So we just run the macro. It goes to the first page, and it's got a little list functions. And you create your list functions, and it shows you them. And it didn't put them. That was what I was a little worried about. That it didn't put them in the right uh, kind of format, but. Actually, for me, I think that's just about good enough. Okay, and uh, that's that's how you create a menu bar, and that only took seven minutes.